My name is Alexander Matter and I'm in photography and digital imaging. My name is Ben Calabro and I'm currently in the graphic design industry. I'm Mary Williams and I work in the visual arts industry. My name is Chloe Hirsch and I'm a part of the screen and media industry. So my name is Jemima and currently I'm taking visual arts and I've worked in visual arts before. I currently do not use AI in correlation with any art that I do. I am aware of artists, however, that do use AI as a tool for some of the artwork. There have been exhibitions where people have used AI, but personally, I do not use AI in my works. Um, I, I, it's around me. I have looked into it. Um, lots of people have been recommending it. Obviously, um, it's something we won't be able to ignore. It's there. Um, I have seen some people use it, some of my students. Uh, I think it could be put to good use. Uh, Recently, I've been using it more often, not as a crutch per se, but more so as a tool to be used to create different types of um, art and also just designs in general as well. If I need help generating ideas or uh, the way I'll later lay out a scene, I'll use AI. Um, but apart from that, no, I don't. I try and stray away from using AI in photography because I feel like it has a sense of unoriginality, uh, taking elements from other people's work. AI, initially, when it was introduced, definitely turned a lot of things on its head. It caused huge debates. I'm sure every Creative Avenue is aware of this, how AI has had a huge impact on the way things work. It's definitely brought artist integrity into picture. That was a huge effect of AI versus human art done by hand, especially for visual arts, where everything is done by hand and the craft is very hands-on. I noticed a lot more use of AI and it's pretty cool um, with how it's uh, advanced. But I don't, I don't use it in my own practices because I feel like it's unoriginal, uh, and it's just I prefer it. I prefer my work to be more original and entirely out of my own brain. Well, AI at the moment can currently take a um, sentence and make it into a 15-second film or a shot. Um, so I think that's pretty crazy that it can do that. Um, when it started off as nothing at all. Um, it's used or being used to generate um, design briefs for people just to practice um, designing and just also generating concept, concepts in general um, and just discovering new ways to um, use different techniques in design as well um, and just expanding existing ideas already. I believe it will obviously design work, um, so it will um, maybe accelerate designs and ideas um, because it can be quite instant. I think AI will have a big part in this specific industry in the future since it can make 15 second um, like little films or shoots kind of thing um, and I think it will have a big impact. I believe that it will have a place in photography eventually but um, I, I'd hope that its use in photography would be much more subtle, um, smaller effects and images, but I can see it becoming a much bigger subgenre in photography. Um, I think it'll be used as a tool, not to essentially replace graphic designers or um, just um, replace people in general, but more so as a way to fill in um, and be used as a tool just to create different ideas and concepts um, just to make a final product um, alongside AI. I don't see AI ever taking over exactly what's happening in visual arts. Painting by hand, those very authentic paint strokes, drawing, sketching, all of that very human movement. I don't believe AI can quite replicate that in a way that would ever replace the artist. I do see it, however, possibly in being introduced more as a tool to use for visual arts. I've heard of people, I don't do this personally, but people who generate images to use as references 
for their artwork. They take from the AI as an inspiration, and I can definitely see it being come, like more introduced as a tool for inspiration, for generating reference images that may not exist otherwise. So when you can't find a photography image of it, you can just make it. <laughs> All the time. Um, again, um, as a tool just to essentially speed up um, production and just be more efficient in things. Um, say if you want a logo to um, to be designed and you're struggling with uh, finding concepts, you can um, simply use AI as um, a way to generate ideas, um, not as a way to create the logo, but just to help you get to where you want to be um, in just the design process in general. Uh, yes, I do. Um, and with this big advancements, you know, you see some images that have like, they have seven fingers or something or three eyes, but they've gotten much better and I do see it a lot more nowadays and it's a lot less noticeable nowadays as well. I do see it being used occasionally. There was a famous exhibit where it was entirely AI art, designed as a discussion about it because it's the artist who used the AI. But then there was a discussion of, you know, is it the same as like the artist has made it? I guess that's a different discussion, a bit of a tangent, but I do see AI being used and in future, I see it being used more, but in harmony with what's already happening, that AI will be used, but it won't be the artwork inherently. Yes, I do. I can see it currently being used. I can see it being used in the future. Um, but anything like what I use it for to generate ideas, to even um, doing little filler shoots, um, just a couple seconds of just stock footage or whatever, I think it can be used in any way possible.